are you are you in my Twitch chat right now? Do you see the chat? Right now? No, I don't. Should, should I look at your Twitch chat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should you should open the chat. Well, they, they literally. Hold on, I, I, I actually I actually do. I I I actually hold on. Ugh, I I actually I think I actually do want to look at your Twitch chat. Hold on. I think I can. Can they see me yet? They can see you. They can see you. They're... Can, can can the Twitch chat see me? They can see you. And I just want. I like. Listen, dude. You know I don't want to just come out here just going fucking crazy. Go crazy. Just no, 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 no. Just no. I just played a Drake song, and the only thing in my chat was three out of ten, bro. Ugly, 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 the... ugly melon. The... Hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving I'm loving this I'm loving this I'm loving your chat, uh, no chat stop being nice to him this is the enemy right now stop are they are they be, I saw a few people being mean are they being nice or are they being mean dude they're calling you the goat no don't call don't call me the, we're, this the, we're we're here for a battle dude I just listen listen I just want to know because listen I, I've I've seen your videos um I've been watching your videos for for years okay I just want to know, and like this is truly like I just re I need to know for my own sanity. Yeah, if this is some kind of genius level act that is, you know, this trolling Drake fans and Drake himself. I just want to know like what this is. No, I, I have I have no conception that Drake even watches my videos or cares. Like I, I have I have no. I mean, he's he's probably a relatively online guy. Like he knows who DJ Academics is. Um, and, and he knows enough about DJ academics to know to avoid DJ academics. Um, so, I mean, he's he's probably seen some of the reviews. I don't know. But like, I, I, I'm, I'm not under the impression that like he really cares. I don't, I don't think Drake cares all that much about some weird YouTube reviewer guy. I think he probably has rappers to to worry about. I mean, I mean, but even so, if he did care, you would be different. Like, wh like, that's what I'm like. What do you mean? No, I mean, if, if if he did care, I wouldn't really change my opinion because, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't I don't really make my reviews for Drake. Um, I, I don't you know, I, I make my reviews for me and uh, opinionated music fans who also just kind of want to get on, uh, get in on the debate in the discourse. That's that's all. I mean, you know, I, I don't I don't make my videos for artists at the end of the day. If they see it and they fuck with it or even if they hate it. That's fine and that's cool. I mean, you know, it's it's your art and it's your you know your baby that you're Do making. You? You're 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 you know you're entitled to hate me or disagree with me. But like you know, it's I I don't do what I do to you know piss artists off or make artists like me. But do you do you hold? Okay, so are you so tough on Drake because you hold him to some higher standard or something or like what what is it? Because I know for a fact. There's people making songs that are n not nearly as good as Drake's music, and you're giving them higher reviews. And like, this is, okay, it's like I, I want I want a specific example because honestly, like I feel like you rated I feel like, KSI's album higher than CLB. Slightly, you rated KSI. slightly, slightly. What do you mean slightly, dude? You're comparing KSI uh -huh. to Drake, and he's above Drake. That's in your your he's, honest he's, opinion. He's That's above, your he's above. Is. He's above Drake in this instance. I've given like a majority of Drake reviews across Drake's entire catalog. I've given Drake way more positive reviews than I've given KSI. Dude, We're talking dude, about this one no album in this instance. one instance. If KSI dude, came I out, like with, KSI. if KSI there's came no out with Girls Like Girls, yeah, that song would be shit on his record too. <laughs> no, I I truly believe if other artists did that, you would uh -huh. find the humor in it, and you'd and you'd find the quirkiness in it. But but, but with Drake, that, but the, but it's automatically like, corny. But with Drake, you know, it's not even that it's corny. Like corny is is obviously part of it. But like the other part of girls like girls is that there's like there's no flavor or personality or I guess like you know attitude to anything that he's saying he sounds half the fuck asleep while he's saying all of it so it's like <laughs> what's funny about it you know Dude, he's, he sounds okay, half the, the fuck asleep while he's doing it so so where is the humor because honestly like I I see I see your point I see what you're saying like if Danny <clears throat> Brown said that line and then followed it up with a bar about like I don't know eating pussy from the back or something like okay then I could kind of see it you know, but the thing is, like Drake does. Drake just sounds asleep at the fucking that's, wheel while he's doing. That's another thing I had a problem with with watching yeah. reviews. Like, 
you're you're just saying that his energy is low and like yeah, he has all low this energy stuff, across like, the whole LP. Well, what is he supposed to do? Like what what kind of energy should he have that's going to be good for you? Because I feel like it didn't wouldn't matter what because there's different energy levels on this whole album, and you still gave it the same. Like you never. Every single song that had someone else on it, you're like, oh yeah, no, this was completely Kid Cudi song. Oh, dude, this was Ty Dolla Sign. L listen, listen. The, the, this like the energy that he came with on "You Only Live Twice," that was an energy. And you know, granted, like Drake's always had songs on his albums, like Marvin's Room, for example, where it's like super low, super low key, and it's super moody, and you know, it's kind of a, a sadder track. And it's a more introspective yeah. track. But like when he came through with a banger, like it always had like that super strong, decisive, you only live twice kind of energy to it. Uh, whether you're talking about um, uh, uh, headlines or whether you're talking about Lord knows, like I feel like that level of energy and that level of like precision in his rapping was just like such a rarity on this record, and it was disappointing because of that. So you, so you, you, know, you he, like he just, Drake he just, more? He didn't. You say, like Drake more like upbeat, kind of like not like laid back. Like you like it's, Drake. It's not even so much more or less because I liked uh, a lot of the aspects of the Ty Dolla Sign song. I wish it had more variation to it. But like when Drake sings over a good tune, it's great. It's fine. I don't mind a low key Drake track if it's well put together and he sounds engaged and it has a strong melody to it. And there's a chorus and there's a narrative I can get behind. That's fine. But like. You know, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm not so much into these weird middle of the road songs that I feel like we're all over the record. Like they're not so much sad or depressing or super introspective, but they're not going hard either. I felt like we were just kind of hanging in this weird, you know, in the yellow middle of the road thing for a lot of the LP where he wasn't yeah. going in one direction. He wasn't going in the other. It was just kind of like a lack of emotion. It wasn't so, it wasn't it wasn't aggression. It wasn't sadness. It was more yeah. of an emotional void. But listen, so you said something that was interesting just now. You were like, oh, if if you said, what did you say, Danny Brown or something? I I, said I, something? Use, I use Danny Brown as an example of somebody who, yeah. if you gave him the lesbian bar, he'd probably yeah. do something wacky with it and it would make but sense. Someone who, like, who's like your favorite artist, would you say, like a hip hop artist? Like, who, who would you say is like one of your favorite? Because obviously it's not Drake. Like, who's one of your favorite? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so some artists who I've given really positive reviews to that, you know, you're probably aware of, but, you know, more contemporaries like... Danny Brown, um, Kendrick, I'm really into uh, the new Little Sims record. That's really good. Um, okay. I'm also, uh, yeah. oh, you know, people in chat are saying Joey Badass. I do fuck with Joey Badass. Um, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of who else I was uh, into as of. Uh, oh, I liked the new Nas LP quite a bit as well. King's Disease 2 I thought was really good. Um, so you know, the, the, when you said right when there. you. I know, I know. So why can't it just be like, hey guys, listen, I'm starting this review. I'm gonna be honest with you. I fuck I don't like Drake. I'm gonna just be honest. I like all these but, other but guys. The thing is, I've I don't like I've liked liked stuff, I've liked stuff he's done in the past. Said, I've liked stuff he's done in the past. I think you, you I think if you're like, I, I think care. if you're reading this, if you're reading this is too late, it's a great mixtape. It's a great project. Yeah, you can't there's deny so, that. Even if you so wanted to as a Drake hater, you couldn't deny so, that. But no, 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 no. I uh, listen, even Drake Come haters, on. even Drake haters could hate that project. I, I hate, No, they I, can't. Yes, if they you could. hate that, yes, you they get could. laughed at. Yes, like they you could. get like ridiculed. No, 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 no. I, I I hate this I hate this argument. There are even some Kendrick fans that make this stupid argument where they say to me, Well, you're not a real Kendrick fan because you gave T a ten. Like you have to give it a ten. You you know, you can't give it anything else. No, 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 no. Like that, that like it, I appreciate that project. That project is not so like outside of Drake's, you know, Drake didn't go God mode on that fucking record. Like it's a very good record. And I feel like it's because he did what he did incredibly well. And it was focused and it had just like one great chorus after another super memorable lines, great features. He had chemistry with like, there are mm -hmm. still choruses on that record to this day that are stuck in my head. Um, you know what else, you know what other album a uh, record that has a lot of good choruses and a lot of memorable lines what? is views. And you called that painfully boring, <laughs> no, I think. No, 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 not views. No, no. Come on. Like no, like you in, said like views was in, boring. In in, in it, if if we're tearing like views No, no, take, don't tear his care, albums take versus care, album. And take care and nothing was the same. Where does views rank? Listen. 
views if it was someone else's album that's one of their best albums no, no, if no, not no. the best let, let, it let, just let's, is let's let's not play with that argument i hate that argument this isn't an argument no no it's it's a it's a silly argument because i see people make that same shit with like well would t-peb still be a 10 if no Tekashi because you're six, comparing it to Takashi 6 9 made it? come on that's silly out, no, like, take nobody, care. nobody else would if make views too late, other was than, you can't say if somebody else made views because nobody else would make views other than drake okay but so if we're talking about like a lot of people are liking to compare Kanye and, and shit right now. The reason I don't think anyone can be like, yo, this Donda's like top three is because Kanye already has legendary albums that will never be surpassed. Well, I, so I that's don't, why I don't, think, like, I don't think Donda's top three in Kanye's catalog. I know. Of course it's not. No, I, it just I, I don't isn't, think that's but, the case. But what I'm, but this is my point is like, I can't sit here and be like, oh yeah, views is top three because Drake has other good ass albums that can't be surpassed. That doesn't mean views isn't good. And it definitely doesn't mean views is bo painfully boring. Dude, you have to be trolling. You, you, dude, you're smiling, laughing right now. I'm smiling and laughing bro. because dude, the answer is right in front of your face because views came right out after freaking uh -huh. well not not came out immediately but came out you know in succession right after if you're reading this is too late and that project has fucking fire from front to back and views does not have nearly as many hard-hitting tracks not no, nearly as no. many the most I, dude, memorable I and catchy with song i gotta on disagree views. strongly with that bro views has literally songs and i know people say oh numbers don't matter there's literally songs of views that have a billion plays on spotify these are not like, how is that not a, a, a good song? Like, I'm confused. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at views right now. Just, I'm just, gonna, just, to refresh, views just to refresh my memory. Just to refresh my memory. But like, <clears throat> tell me what song on, but, but, but listen, I'm looking it up to refresh my memory. You're the number one Drake stand. Don't look at the record. You should you should have know, that you should have, you should have heart, that album just, tattooed on your ass. What listen, record? Listen, listen, what, listen. what song on this record goes harder than energy? Oh my God! Wait, first of all, what, what what kind of question is that? That's Wait, so well, you're you're, tell, you're telling me it's just as good. Energy. What 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 song on this record goes harder or just as hard as energy? Um, I would say probably half the album. No, no, and then no, the no. other I, half I is like one, the I, want, I want a single song, just any song, just name a track, just give me a title, dude. dude I mean, uh. <laughs> Well, what do you mean harder? Because these are different types of songs, though. Okay. Like, right, you right. with it's, me it's a feel no type, It's a different type now. It's, it's a different, different type of thing. It's not like a go hard type of song. Like, like Faithful, uh, Fire and Desire. Like, these are not like, oh, like fucking Drake going crazy. Like, that. but this is my point, bro. You're, you're making a comparison that makes no sense. Like, just say, just, dude, dude, this is what you could say. Be like, oh, I like when Drake does this. I don't like when he does like a Marvin's room. Just do that then. Don't just be like, oh, he has no energy. It's ass. That's he's doing a different type. When Kanye changes his, his cadence and is doing a different vibe, no one's like, oh, dude, Kanye has no energy and no effort. What? No one does that. No one does it for anyone. Well, dude, well, I, Kendrick I, Lamar could come on an album and make a fucking Alvin and the Chipmunks voice, and you'll be like, "Yo, that was fucking genius!" Like, come on, bro. Well, hold on. Some of some of Kendrick's weird, funny little inflections I have, you know, shat on before. And Kanye West, there have been records from Kanye where I think he has put in little to no effort, or he's been, you know, maybe a little bit too to actually like be as on point as he should be jesus is king being like prime example i think kanye was too <laughs> off his fucking rocker to put into that record what that record needed to be good so you know mm -hmm. like i'm not just and look uh i've been known as a kanye hater long before i was known as a drake hater so uh you know <laughs> well you were a kanye hater what did you give um life of pablo Life of Pop originally I gave Life of Pablo a six, and then uh, which I which I've given some Drake records uh, a six, uh, but then but then he fixed the mix, and I thought it was better. I gave it a more positive review after he kind of fixed the mix. Uh, but everybody knows that I gave uh, Dark Fantasy a six, and everybody fucking hates me across the the planet for it. So, you know, I've I've been Dude, pretty critical of like, Kanye over the years as well. I, but like I think what this really is is. I don't think your number one genre of music, and I don't know you personally, where you listen to off stream and off video. I don't think your number one genre is hip hop rap. I think that you like, you're into like weird shit too. Like, is that, is that not 
It, like what, I don't wait. What, what, is, what, is, what is that? Well, I mean, not only is my most viewed video on the channel a, a hip hop rap album, and it's an album that I gave a ten to, um, but I, I've been listening to rap all my life. I mean, rap. No, I know you. I'm around, saying. I'm, I'm you know, saying though, my entire life. Number one and number two. Um, it, you know, are are you saying that? There isn't any weird hip hop or rap music. Like, there's no weird stuff going on in hip hop or rap that I, that I might appreciate since I just like. No, no, no I'm stuff. gonna tell you this. When you you made a you made a video because I told you I've been watching you for years. Yeah. You made a video. You always do this. It's like you're like the best singles of the year or something. Yeah. And like, there was a song I found on on one of your videos. It was not. It was the most bizarre thing ever. I don't know what it was called. You don't know what it was but called. But I edited to my. I think. Hold on. It had like uh, there was a girl in the cover. She was like Asian. I don't know the name of it, but it was. Damn, um, that's probably not specific enough. It was yeah. It was probably not. So it's it's uh, a yeah, it was a uh, look. I mean, I I cover a lot of different genres on the channel, and I cover a lot of underground stuff. Wait, um, yeah, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. This is the point I was trying to make, but before okay, I lose my right. train yeah. of thought, my train of thought was this, dude. Those two Kanye albums are literally like amazing and like even if you at one point thought it was a six are you, are you, that, are you talking about pablo i'm talking about beautiful dark twisted fans and, and pablo and pop yeah i love pablo and these i think pablo is a 10 right i think pablo is great yeah it's out of 10 but i i think pablo is great and and look i have reasons why i like you know pablo more than dark fantasy and I, we don't have to get into that though but i i think pablo is great I do. I just, I just, man, like, I just, my problem is just that I just think it's so, uh, I just think there's just this clear bias and I think you're trolling, but I don't think you'll ever, so, you so, would so, never so, say so it your, before, So your though. argument is that, or, or ultimately like what, what your issue is ultimately is that you, th you think, look, I, I, th I think there's kind of a difference between I'm just a hater and I hate Drake and I genuinely have like, you know, negative feelings toward the guy and I couldn't ever give him like, you know, a fair review because I just hate Drake and I have a Drake bias. Or do you genuinely feel like I'm making up my dislike of Drake's music and, and what I actually like it in I secret, but I don't want to admit I that I like it for the sake of. No, no, no. I don't. I actually don't think you like it. OK, I think that you're playing into it because, you know, that it's good for YouTube. Like it's good for, it's just funny. Like it's literally, you're going to have literally 10,000 comments by tomorrow on this video. And this is just the point of YouTube. Like, I just think that's why you're doing it. I could like, I mean, honestly, my, my, my review, when it's a highly anticipated record, I get lots of comments and engagement, whether it's a positive one or a negative one. Um, and, and I've seen that, across the catalogs of certain artists that I've been covering for years. Uh, you know, whether that be again, Kendrick, no, that's who I've, the thing. I've given that's positive the thing, bro. and negative I'm telling you, I've been or, watching you for years Okay, and you do genuine reviews. Okay. Like you do genuine reviews, but I just think the one, when I watch you do Drake reviews, I, something changes. And I think you have like a trolley undertone, bro. That's the only thing. And I'm not even being biased because I also gonna... like Kanye, like, <sighs> I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny the fact that like when I'm doing a Drake review, it it am I holding no bars? Like yeah, I'm not holding any bars. Like I'm I'm not, or or no or it's no holds barred is is what I'd rather say. Yeah, um, you're gonna yeah, go I'm, you're I'm, gonna I'm go hard like, on Drake. I'm not like pulling any punches. Like if it sucks, and and the reasons that I feel like it sucks, I have no reason not to say honestly. You know, so so, you know, um, it you know it, it's 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 hold no mercy. Because it, th uh, that's just kind of the attitude Wait. that I'm taking with it. However, no, no, you know, right there, because but, what? Because what? Like, what is it? What is it? That's that's what I'm looking for. What because, is it? Because because that's what people expect from me. They expect from me if I don't like something to, to be really honest about it and just you know, look, there are artists out there that honestly have have gotten way worse reviews than I think Drake will ever get. Like as even even the worst Drake record in my opinion will most likely probably never be as bad as like the last green day record or the tones and I album that I just shit on that I gave a zero out of 10. And uh, I don't think Drake will ever put out an album as bad as chance. The rappers, the big day, uh, which is also one of my most negative reviews ever. Um, 
Yeah, yeah that so, was that was that was god awful. So uh you know, so even though I I do uh uh you know, go hard on these records when I think Drake is like, you know, really kind of tripping up. Um I I don't I don't think Drake is ever going to put out an LP that's that's quite that bad because I, I think Drake, no matter what he's doing, uh, even if he is going into a project with low energy, he is pretty uh, married to whatever aesthetically is going to appeal to the widest amount of people. Um, where I think, uh, you know, whereas I think the big day, for example, like Chance the Rapper was just like uh, bullshitting, you know, his way through that album and doing any weird fucking horrible idea that came to his head, which, you know, uh, again, to to remind people who might have seen the review or didn't see the review, um, I, I do think way too sexy is that bad, though. I do think that's Drake's hot shower, if I'm being honest. Dude, 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 you can't listen to Hot Shower and listen to that. You can think it's corny. Come on, bro. That's a catchy ass song. No way too sexy. It is. I'm I listen, I love Drake. That shit's corny, but it's just funny, bro. It's <laughs> he's not doing a hot shower, bro. That was so disrespectful, bro. That was fun. That's actually insane that you would say that out loud. I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the, the, it's just how I feel though. Now I'm looking at um I'm I'm looking at some of my reviews and and I, I look, I don't know, man. Like uh, some of my reviews I've done of Drake's music in the past where it's, you know, maybe more in the middle have fine viewership and engagement. My, one of my most positive, you know, my most positive Drake review that if you're reading this review that has a, a fair amount of, uh, views, almost 2 million. And, uh, the Scorpion review does have over, you know, 2 million. Um, what did but, you, you know, get Scorpion? Uh, Scorpion, I gave a four, but, uh, you know, look, here's the thing. Um, when <clears throat> Scorpion came out, I had more, I had more subs than I, you know, had when, uh, um, you know, uh, uh if you're reading, this is too late came out. Look, I'll, 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 what I'm telling you is that whether I'm doing a super positive or a super negative Drake review, I, I'm not seeing like a huge jump in like, oh, the negative review got no, 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 I'm not, more no, views, no, I'm not, you know, so I'm just I'm trolling just everybody that, just to get under people's you, skin. I don't know, bro. Like you could though. You could just be wanting to just fuck with people. And I feel like you would do that. But yo, but the thing is, hold on. Do you tr honestly believe that Scorpion's better than CLB? Um yeah, why not? Well, I'm asking you. Yeah, I mean, I I, th I think it's I think it probably had more memorable tracks on it, yeah. And and I feel like the the overall vibe of the project was a little better because he didn't seem like as obsessed about the Kanye shit. That was the other thing I was gonna I was gonna talk to you about. I, I want to bring this up because I I just absolutely despise the Kanye versus Drake shit online. Just because, like, if I didn't like Kanye, I'd be all for it. But I actually like both of them, so it's hard to be like talking about shit. But why do you think that Drake is like obsessing over Kanye when Kanye's the one like going insane, like tweeting shit, like putting shit on Instagram, like like he he made like a video like walking under like a train station. Like saying like Drake, don't talk about her like that. Like, dude, Drake's not doing anything. Like, what is he doing? He's he he called him old in a song. Like, come on, bro. I don't I don't know. Well, I mean, look, if uh uh I have my opinions about the way that Drake and push a T beef and everything kind of played out that uh, you know, a lot of Drake stands probably don't hear, don't wanna, you know, agree with, and and that's and that's fine. Um, but you know, as as far as like the Kanye and Drake beef in general and the origins of it. Like, uh, I, I think, uh, you know, this, this is all very much like Kanye's doing. I think Kanye is absolutely operating from a place of jealousy. You can, uh, see that play out if you're looking at interviews, you know, especially, uh, uh, you know, from Kanye about Drake over the years. And there was a point in time where he was happy to, uh, engage with Drake. And, you know, we're talking like 2010, 2011, you know, like this mm -hmm. time frame, engage with Drake, do beats for Drake, you know, production for Drake or whatever. And, um, uh, you know, Drake was happy to sort of have that engagement. And then as Drake's numbers started like climbing higher and higher and higher, it became really apparent that like Kanye began to see Drake as like a threat of some sort. And, you know, I, I guess you have to, um, sort of understand that maybe for that time, Kanye was kind of seeing the writing on the wall because, uh, Kanye was that guy that, you know, Drake kind of is now. He was that guy who was almost like that kind of hip hop, but also pop crossover 
who could make songs for a pop audience and pop audiences kind of loved him for it, but he still kind of had that hip hop legitimacy and cred. And now Drake is kind of like in that spot without, you know, as much like hip hop credibility as Kanye has, but like he still has, he's still doing the numbers uh, that Kanye Uh wants to do and that Kanye wishes that he was still doing. And, um, you know, I, I look, Kanye's fucking jealous of Drake. And that's why, you know, I feel like a lot of this is, you know, kind of um, uh, going in the direction that it is. Uh, now, you know, even though Drake, I think, you know, kind of took the L during the Pusha situation, I feel like part of the reason that that is, is, you know, Drake still in his heart of hearts probably has like, you know, be- because of his origins and what inspired him to do what he's doing, he probably still has like some appreciation and on some level, like some love for Kanye, probably like not in a personal sense, because Kanye sort of seems in a way like out to destroy him. But, um, you know, at yeah. least like from the standpoint of an artist and a fan, you know, you have to like probably still in your heart at that point, hold some kind of like love for, you know, who kind of planted the seeds in your head to bring you where you are now. But, um, you know, on a personal level, Drake probably still, you know, right now holds nothing for Kanye. And uh, while I think Drake has made some embarrassing moves, I don't entirely, you know, hate him for it because, uh, you know, despite the outside of him obsessing over it too much in his own music, um, because, you know, I, I think he's probably making, you know, the wrong moves because he, he maybe doesn't want to see Kanye destroyed or he feels like he doesn't want to push it that far, which is why I think he backed off the last time. And, you know, I guess part of the reason that, like, he kind of backed off last time is because, you know, Pusha T was going at him in a way where it wasn't just like, you know, wrestling anymore. You know, it wasn't just like about puffing out your chest. He like, you know, hit him and he felt like he had, you know, like brass knuckles under the gloves. You know what I mean? And was like, this is, you know, kind of fucked up. Like, I'm not trying to go this far. You know what I mean? Um, but again, if that's like, if that's, like, your, if that's, if that's your feeling the, and that's your experience, the is, then just back the off and make your hits, just back off and make your listen, fucking hits. Because here's the, the thing, most, if the numbers are the only thing that matters at the end of the day, Drake doesn't need to engage in this bullshit to prove that he is winning. All he has to do to beat Kanye at this point is literally just wait him out. That's all Drake <laughs> has to do because Drake's continued success whether he, you know, goes at Kanye directly or not is a sleeper hold. He's going to perpetually hold Kanye in until his career is just done because he either becomes irrelevant or he is just finished with doing it or Drake just outdoes him to the point where he doesn't matter anymore. And Drake has moved on because he's 10 years younger to influencing the next generation and he becomes the Kanye to the next person who's going to, you know, carry the mantle. So You know, look, I I think it's just kind of silly for Drake to continue to engage in this because he's already kind of won. The writing is on the wall. The numbers speak for themselves. All he has to do is just like continue swimming at the pace that he's swimming. Kanye's already behind. He doesn't need to stop to look back at Kanye and just like, you know, splash at him or anything. Just keep going and keep going and keep going. So why do you think then why then like why do you think he's doing this then? Like. Like what's what's well, the I, reason? Well, I, I that, think he, I think he's all. I think Drake. I mean, Drake's a person. He's also insecure himself, you know. And and I think uh, uh, and you know, I, I heard you kind of scoff earlier about you know uh, Drake not having the hip hop credibility. And you know, look, that that's just an objective statement. And that's not to say that Drake isn't hip hop or that you know he's not a real rapper or anything. But he's never gained the respect of his elders in the same way that, you know, Kanye has. And and even though Drake is in a better place than he was in 2011, he still very much like remembers and lives in that time where everybody, you know, knew him as the cry baby and Drake fans, the type of this and Drake fans, the type of that to do this, to do that, or Drake, the type of guy to do this or Drake, the type of guy to do that. And you know, all the crying jokes and the feminine jokes and the gay I mean, jokes but, but, but and so think on about and so it. Forth. Would you, know, you that, that, that dog, I feel like Drake most people would be years, like that. That dog, he was, Drake he for, clown. Yeah, he, yeah, he, clown, was, bro. Yeah, he was, he was clown for years and, and now he's not clowned particularly in that way to the degree, to the degree that he used to be. And all I'm saying is like, I feel like in Drake's attitude, he still kind of carries those scars. And, uh, you know, even when he's winning, he has to remind us that, you know, even, even when, even when he's winning and he's like the most widely accepted thing in the music industry, period, 
not even just in hip hop, in the music industry, period. Like he needs to continue portraying himself as like, oh, I'm the outsider. I'm the underdog. I'm, you know, I have no friends in the industry. I have no this. I have no like, bro. Like, but what if he th- feels like that, bro? It doesn't matter like, if you feel like that. Some people don't feel like, wh- what if Kanye really? feels like he's Jesus Christ tomorrow morning? Like we, we know he's well, crazy. I mean, he, we would know he's crazy. Christ? So it's like, I, I, you know, so, so in a way Drake is living in his own fantasy because again, he's, he's the most widely, that that's how he really the, feels though. It doesn't matter if he feels that way. You could still be feeling, you know, you, your feelings can lie to you. Like, have you ever had depression? Your feelings can lie. Oh, so depressed. What? what about depression? Well, your your depression can trick you into thinking that you're worthless and you're trash and you're garbage and you're this and you're that's that and, and that's just that's all a, a lie made up in your own head. And you know, people can be paranoid <clears> for no <throat> reason. People can be people can experience a lot of different feelings for no reason. And I think Drake, you know, it, it, it partially because it's a narrative that I think sells, but also personally, probably feels like as you were saying, I'm I'm lonely. I don't have friends. I don't have this. I don't have that. When you know, maybe that's kind of a personal problem. Maybe it's not because the whole industry is against you at this point. When in reality, so again, you, you're the most widely accepted thing in popular music now. I, that's debatable because of how much people still, you know, talk shit. But listen, if when you listen to Drake, like, do you do you not believe what he's saying? Because when I listen to him, and I'm not being biased, like, I believe the shit he's saying. Like, I think that's how he really feels. I, I, I would say, I would say on this record, I had the toughest time that I've ever had doing that on this record. But I would say generally, really? yes. Like, honestly, okay. when I listen to records like Take Care, Nothing Was the Same, uh, even Views, you know, I, I uh, don't really tend to personally take into question a lot of what Drake is saying. I, you know, I don't really... Um, uh, you know, feel like, oh, he's, you know, he's not saying anything real. He's not, you know, speaking reality. He's not doing this. I, I, I don't feel like I'm being like lied to, to my face. I mean, I feel like uh, Drake, just like anybody is, you know, kind of putting forward a narrative and, you know, look, we're, we're just like listening to rappers at the end of the day, you know, just because we listen to somebody rap on a track and give us some, you know, images of their life. It doesn't mean we know them or understand them fully. You know, I mean, uh, for a lot of artists, we're kind of, hearing like you know the lyrical equivalent to an instagram feed and they're only showing us their triumphs or they're only showing us their failures when they can kind of angle it or portray it in a certain way that makes them compelling or sympathetic or this or that yeah. you know we, we we're not we're not seeing these people in their boring moments we're not seeing these people in their everyday moments we're not seeing drake take a fucking shit on the toilet you know what i mean um but, uh, you know, with but Drake, I, with oh, Drake like anybody, there's narrative weaving. But with his previous records, I didn't really get the feeling that I'm being lied to. But when Drake opens up his record with like, you know, I've been hot since the birth of my son. I'm unfazed. That's a fucking lie. He is totally fucking phased. He's nothing but phased. But come on, man. You know what it's like. Come on, bro. Like you, you, you literally want him to be more confident. Like that's what you're basically saying. And then he okay. tries to be confident. <laughs> And say it, and you're like, oh, dude, no, you're lying. It's like, no, 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 no. You, you can be confident. You be confident without lying. You be confident well, you without mean? lying. Okay, so how else is he supposed to be confident about that? He could look through his actions. He could display that it's not getting to him. You know, like he could. He could even say. He could even say, like, look, you know, they got me. That he could even say in the equivalent of a rap verse, they got me that one time, but I'm still doing numbers. They got me that one time, but I'm still ahead. They got me that one time, but they can't get me off the throne. There's lots of things that you could say. You know, I, I had to back off this, but, you know, I'm I'm back on the throne. <laughs> I had to back off the beef, but I'm back on the throne. Like, say, say fucking anything. You know, it's like, I'm, you know, I'm scarred, but I'm not this. You know, there's tons of different ways that you could spin that. That's just like honest to the situation. You know, like it just but when he's not fully honest and he's telling us that he's unfazed. When he can't stop, like, you know, uh, obsessing over this thing and mentioning this thing that honestly, like we would we would forget about the Adidon shit if he would just stop bringing it up at this point. Like it wouldn't even be. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. And this is this is my one criticism with since Scorpion. I and I guess it's me personally. Like when I want to listen to a Drake thing, I don't want to I don't want him to like talk about his son. And that's my that might be like. I don't know if that's fucked up, chat, but like maybe in like an outro type song. But when he says like co-parent of the year and shit like that, I'm like, 
I just don't want to hear that, bro. Maybe say it one time, but I don't want to hear co-parent of the year. But that's my only criticism. And I, I like I guess that's the only thing I can agree with. With like, yeah, like don't bring up the kid thing all the time. Um and but I besides that, like, nah, bro, like that's I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why you can't and other people uh, can't uh, go into uh, a to, Drake album. To, to, and to, hold on. to respond yeah, to what ahead. you just said, I'm generally fine with him mentioning his son. I guess it depends on how he does it. Like, I think if he wants to especially since he's portrayed himself up to this point as this guy who's like the, the most honest rapper he's letting us in on everything that's happening to him i don't see anything wrong with him telling us about his son or doing some dad bars here and there i think that's cute i think that's fine i think that honestly i i think i think parenthood isn't glorified or platformed enough in hip-hop and in popular music you know um you know popular music just in general and i think you know it's significant for someone on drake's level to be you know um kind of platforming that as well the the one line on the record that did get to me and and this was an honest moment on the record but like the the i think it was the last track the bar that he dropped about like having an unwanted pregnancy and so on and so forth and like kind of putting it the way that he put it felt like a little raw and a little weird and it's the sort of thing that I was thinking like if that was my kid and he like you know heard that bar like when he was 15 and he went back and listened to my record he, he probably wouldn't feel too good about I it. I think I know exactly where you're there's just I think it was on fucking fans and he said like yeah 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 oh I had a kid and I know you didn't like that I, something like that yeah, and it and it's like it's like a mistake. It's and it's like that's kind of like, yeah, you know, like well, he's you, gonna hear you know, that. You know, you like, ha I, I I think by comparison, you have to look at like a guy like Jay Z, who after he had a daughter, publicly and in his own music, like in his literally in his own bars, he was having like a series of almost like come to Jesus moments where he was like you know starting to see like his old content and some of the, you know, what some people would probably characterize as like misogyny in his bars and everything. Um, and, and sort of, you know, that coming into context for him and, and thinking about that now, now that he is a dad. And, and I think he kind of handled that with, uh, you know, a certain level of grace. And, and I hope that with time Drake gets there as well, but I feel like he's kind of struggling to, to get to, that point you know because i that, that, will, that bar i don't think went over very well and again like if 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 i was drake's kid 15 years from now i would i wouldn't feel too good about that bar yeah and i know i i can i can hear the jay-z thing he was like literally like almost speaking to his daughter or something and like i think it was like some watch the throne i don't know something but um yeah i know what you're saying but um fuck what was i about to say um yeah, I think that Drake is uh, just not there. Like, he's not like a, a a traditional parent right now, like with a family and shit. So I think that's sure. why it's different because he's still like a like like a playboy or something. You know what I mean? That's why yeah. it's like different. I mean, he's he's probably wrestling with a lot of things because he has an image he wants to portray to people. But you know, there's probably a reality to that image that he wants to continue living, and he, you know, is also kind of it's it's also hitting them that he has to be a parent and be you know present in the way that a parent needs to be you know he's he's probably figuring things out you know and uh you know uh, and how much to let us in on any of that you know uh, maybe he's thinking i have a lot of fans that don't want to hear fucking bars about my son i don't <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> i'm not in drake's head but like you know there's a lot of things he could be thinking and uh i don't know uh, you know maybe that's maybe that's one of them uh, I'm seeing in the chat, guys. Are you saying? T oh, oh, you said the song TSU was was horrible or something? Yeah, T TSU uh, came off a little weird to me, like narratively. I and and not that I think that Drake had like the worst intentions with it, but I think the way that it was, I I, I think I think it's kind of a tone. Oh, song oh, oh, you said right okay, no, no, this. Oh, no, wait, hold on. I remember you said. I remember you said. You said that he said something about paying for sexual favors. Is yeah, that yeah. Yeah, he was well, talking about, you know, sort of supporting this woman and, you know, sort of their association together uh, being sexual as well. Yeah. But that's no, he supported, he supports her, not that he's paying like, like it's well, a prostitute like, or like what? That, not literally in a prostitution kind of way, but like, I mean, this is, this is not anything new to any of you. I mean, other rappers have rapped about this exact thing before where, you know, they, they kind of become like, it's like a sugar daddy situation. 
I can I okay, so this is how I interpreted it, and I just want to like let and I told already told you guys this, but the way I interpreted that song was that it's like it's almost like a thing where it doesn't matter how much money you have or how much money someone has, it's just a human to human thing. And even though that is Drake, it's this random like dancer or something, whatever. Like this isn't a celebrity, and he's just like it, like it that song just is like him supporting this girl or something and he's like happy for her like growing or something that's what i heard from it i don't know like what i don't i don't know like I, why is that funny like that's just no, no, funny. like like she's <laughs> look she's a stripper that he's like you know in a sexual kind of sugar daddy relationship with she's not oh, his why kid. No, he's no. not looking at her like you know he's raising her he should be raising his like son that. like that instead <laughs> <laughs> Why like, are you here's, it's here's, like here's, that? Here's, here's what I don't here's what I don't get or what I think is kind of weird about these like you know these situations and these types of relationships like if if you're if you're at the top of the fucking world you're at the yeah. top of the fucking world like why wouldn't you just be like I'm 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 trying to think of. Are you gonna say why would you not mess with a stripper? Is that what you're gonna say? No, it's it's not really about like not wanting to mess with a stripper because you know I don't look at sex workers that way or see people who are strippers or doing that line of work as disgusting. It's not really about like you know strippers or whatever. It's it's more about mm -hmm. like you know the power dynamic that you would run across being at Drake's level of fame and influence and trying to you know sort of run this kind of relationship with anybody it doesn't have to be a stripper I guess you know the the only thing that comes to mind is Beyonce but obviously like Beyonce is taken but like if if you're at Drake's level of popularity and fame and success like why wouldn't you want to be like why would you waste your fucking time just like throwing all your money away on random girls who you're not going to like pursue any sort of relationship with or anything. This is just like a short time thing. Why wouldn't you want to build like an empire with a Beyonce? You know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't you just be like, I'm not going to just like randomly impregnate, you know, fucking fans or whoever the fuck else I run across and so on and so forth. Why don't you find somebody who's at your talent level, your influence level, your six, your economic level and like, become a jay-z like and obviously jay-z and beyonce have their issues but like you know any marriage is going to but like why wouldn't you want to build a fucking empire with somebody who's just as talented and as um you know perceptive and as uh, uh you know i guess like you know world domination potential as you do is as you are you know uh, i think it, it, I just think kinda, it just kind of seems like you know a waste i think a couple things too i think he tried and I don't, obviously we don't know this shit. I mean, I think he tried with Rihanna or something. I don't know what happened with that. Um, but the other thing is this. Are you trying to say that like, you know, like a celebrity or someone like of that stature, like, is it like not possible to have a relationship with somebody who is a quote unquote normal person? I think it's possible, but when that re when that relationship is even in the way that Drake describes it on the song, like predicated entirely on just like sex and some kind of like monetary interaction, then then no, that's not a normal relationship. Like and and look, th there are YouTubers who I've who have had storied pasts and you know sort of like scenarios just like this who you know they run into some money and they're essentially paying women to hang around them all the time and then it becomes like a public or a social blow up that's embarrassing for them because uh, oh I'm really upset because the woman who I was paying to be around me all the time doesn't actually like me <laughs> turns out she just liked me for my money so it's like so no that's not a normal relationship it's not a normal loving relationship where you're with the person or appreciating the person for for who they are so, I mean, at that, at that point, you're basically just saying, like, the only person who could really care about Drake or if Drake could care about whatever, or even any celebrity, is just that you need to be on the same level as someone. It doesn't have to be. Look at look some other examples. Chance the Rapper is with his, you know, significant other who, you know, is is not a famous person, just his regular ass girlfriend. Kendrick Lamar is with his high school sweetheart. You know, you, you you don't have to be with somebody who's just as famous as you. But the thing is, like, if, you know, uh, you're you're in Drake's position, I, I was just sort of, you know, throwing the Beyonce out the Beyonce thing out there as like a possibility. You know, of course, there's always the chance for yeah. Drake to Drake, Drake to meet some normal average person who is an accountant 
and you know really loves him for him and and he loves her for her and you know that's all uh you know of, of, of course there's the possibility of that you know of course there's the possibility of that but like again if, if that's going to be the case though it can't be predicated on you know drake's fame it can't be predicated on how much money drake can offer her to hang around him at any given time and you know it can't be just predicated on uh, uh, you know, how much we're fucking all the time. And hey, look, you know, fucking is great. And, you know, one night stands are fine and and be as sexually liberated as you want to be. But, you know, look, here's the thing. Like Drake is 34, has a kid out of wedlock that he didn't plan. He's he's not going to be the certified lover boy forever. He's already kind of pushing, you know, the <laughs> fact that he's, he's, he's 34 calling himself a boy. He's already kind of pushing it. Like he's already kind of pushing it. How long is he going to go sort of like in this bachelor status to the point where it's kind of sad, you know? Fuck, man. This is literally, how did this, we're talking about music and now we're somehow into like, how much longer is Drake going to live this bachelor life? Like, what did this just become, bro? All from him saying he's a lesbian too. I I, 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 th I think we're all having a come to Jesus moment. <laughs> I think we're all just kind of having a come to Jesus moment. That's all. And this is another thing too. And and someone I was talking to my friend about this. And if you listen to the album, it's like Drake has all all the shit he's achieved, but he sounds sad though. Like a like. Does he not sound like upset a lot? Like he sounds like not happy. Well, that's what I'm saying about all of his narratives about, you know, having no friends and so on and so forth. And maybe he does genuinely feel lonely. But, you know, I mean, it's like a tale as old as time that having money or having success doesn't automatically make you happy. You know, I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, is that um, doing really well for yourself economically, especially on the level that Drake does, is, is probably isolating. Like Drake can't go to the fucking grocery store. That's, you know, that's what makes the probability of, of him uh, probably running into that accountant that might love him for him uh, probably really difficult because, you know, he's, he's not running into any accountants and grocery stores. And if he's running into average or regular people, it's probably in a place where it's more accepting for a person like him to show up like at a strip club. So, uh, you know, it's, it's probably a really weird and isolating situation. But again, uh, that doesn't mean that Drake is without options or without hope. He has probably a wide uh, array of options in the celebrity world that he could, you know, maybe pursue because he, he is champagne poppy. Uh, th there's maybe a lot of super, you know, he talks about the supermodels doing coke that he's hanging out with. I mean, maybe he could get one of them off the coke and date a supermodel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all I know is I think when it's finally figured out when he when he, you know, he said in one of the lines in the song, his soulmate's out there just waiting for him, whatever, right? I think when it's all said and done, I think that's when we'll see another chapter of Drake's career um, because he is so talented at writing and all this shit that I think that, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I just don't know what it'll be, though. That's the thing. I just don't know, like, because all we've known is Drake as, like, a single guy, like, in his music. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it would look like Drake being wifed up. Like, what would his music be? I don't know, dude. I I don't know. And maybe he doesn't even want to go down that path because he's like, fuck, I'm making so much money and I'm so successful like this. And, and it's probably, uh, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, guys, I mean, no, no, it's I, it was just... You know, yeah, go ahead, a, go ahead. a more domesticated Drake or more domesticated rappers like, you know, across the board is 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 new and unfamiliar territory, because I, I feel like with the age of the genre, we're still kind of like adjusting to the fact that we have, you know, guys who are 50 and 60 now who are still rapping and, and still putting out like, you know, good stuff. But like uh, being at that age, it, it feels kind of weird, you know, sort of like accepting more, I guess, like aging narratives, you know, family narratives, because they're still kind of, you know, new hip hop is still a very young genre and, and the way that it's marketed it's still marketed toward a very young audience. This is how I'm going to end it is um, all I just hope is, is that in these reviews, it's just you being a hundred percent and it's not a, uh, you know, an agenda or something. That's, that's all, that's all, that's all I could hope. I, I kind of think there's some kind of like, funny thing going on but listen if you're just if you're telling me nah this is just my honest opinion then 
all right, that's fine. Then you know we could agree to disagree on some of those things, but I um the, the shit we talked about, I think it was a good conversation. I think people loved it. I think it was a good convo too. I'm I was excited to be here. Thank you for inviting me on and and, and remember to plug my Twitch page. Dude, I got hey, hey mods, mods, spam his Twitch page. Um in the uh in the comments, guys. Follow him. I you I, I've seen uh you do like new music. What is it like on Fridays? New music Fridays, and we do interviews and and some other things too. But you know, we we mostly do interviews and new music Fridays. Yeah, check him out, Chat, because uh, you know, like I said, I've been watching him for years. We differ on the Drake opinion, but besides that, you know, good, good, uh, good videos and uh, and funny Twitter Twitter follow. To be honest, Thank um, you. all right, man, listen. I hope I listen. If you actually post this on whatever, I can't wait to read the comments on this. It's gonna be funny. I it's gonna it's gonna be amazing. All right, bro. Hey, appreciate you coming on, man. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.